Hello and welcome to Bundles Level 3. We're going to get into some of the hard stuff and today we're talking about enabling product option drawers. This can be done for functional reasons, such as when you're trying to enable global attributes, which we'll go through in the next video. Or this could be done for UI purposes, as you'll see as we move on. All right, so let's jump in. The first thing we need to do is to go to the managed package settings like we have in previous videos. Once you configure inside of your CPQ package, you can choose to enable product option drawers. When you first enable this, if you don't see it working right away, just stay with me and I'll show you there's a little more to do in addition to checking this box. So here's an example where we're in a quote and the item drawer has been enabled. This is what it looks like. It's a little triangle. One of my favorite sayings is that the secret to Salesforce is behind the tiny triangles. So if you ever see a small triangle, always click it. Always, always, always click the triangles. And this is one example of a drawer. This drawer in particular is being used to hold a global configuration attribute. So by enabling the drawers, it enables you to have this feature right here inside of your bundles. So let's go ahead and we'll check our box. We'll assign our class for this potion. We're going to say we're going to have three of these. And the size of the backpack is going to be for a giant. So we're going to have a really large backpack. When I go ahead and save this, we can see over here that we have additional drawers. So here are the drawers again. So if I click on this top one, it'll expand all of the drawers for all of the lines. And you can see because of the configuration attribute, we have the class that's been assigned from the previous page and we have the size assigned from the previous page. We also have a lot of extra details like the package total. And in some cases, we have class down here for the potion, but we have size over here for the backpack. Sometimes when you have fields like this where the field for class is relevant to potion, but the field for size is relevant to backpack, you don't necessarily want to clutter up all of your columns across the top of the screen here by having size and class and all those details. So it's nice to just tuck away those extra fields in an item drawer. However, even though you've enabled item drawers, if this is something that you don't want, you'd rather have it be one of the columns up here, you can absolutely do that. And the way that we'll do that is by going to the quote line to field sets. And then we'll click on standard item drawer. And if you don't have any fields in here, as we're going to do right now, we'll just remove these. We'll give it a save. And then I'm going to go ahead and go back to this quote. We'll just save this page. And now that I've changed that field set for the line item drawer, when I go back to edit lines on the same quote, the drawer dropdowns over here are going to be gone. But don't worry if I need to reconfigure this backpack because drawers are still enabled, I still have it available for other things like our global attributes. I hope that helps you with configuring item drawers and better understanding what they are. If you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And we are a consulting company. If you want to work with us, please contact us on our website. Thank you so much. Bye.